Hilchis Malva Veleva Pede Kasiri. Now, we learned that Ribas Menatere, so a person gives someone Pedis, for example, either money or Pedis, and the deal is that he's going to pay him back the Karen plus, plus Ribas. So if he gives him Pedis and he makes up, then he gives him a saw of Pedis and he's going to pay him back two saw. So that's considered Ribas. That's considered Ribas Ktsutsa and it's Yetzi Bedayonim. Now, if a person borrows a saw of Pedis and he returns a saw of Pedis, so the Chura, there's no Ribas there. But Chazal said, instituted, that since the saw that you borrowed it may be worth a certain amount, and when you return the saw, it's worth more. So in the mail, it's also a little bit saw, saw. In other words, I can't borrow from you a saw of Paris and then return to you the saw if that saw of them is worth more, even though we didn't speak about money at all. But, and, I, and I'm paying you back a saw, but Lapel, since the saw that I'm giving you back is worth more than the saw that I borrowed, so Midrabon has a din of ribas. That's the issue of Lulvi saw besaw. However, in the, here we're going to learn that there are certain cases where there's no problem of Lulvi saw besaw. In other words, you borrowed a Paris that was worth less, and then you paid back the Paris when they were worth more. Nevertheless, it would be permissible. That, that's what we're going to learn over here. So, no, no, generally, there's a Isra Midrabonan of Lulvi saw besaw. But sometimes you could borrow a saw of saw, even though the saw you're returning is worth more than the saw you, you, you took. Now, we learned before that if a person comes, the lekeah comes to the mecher, and he gives him money in order to get payers from him, and he's going to get the payers later. So generally, it's a problem because lechur ribis is giving him money now, and he's going to take the payers later, and the payers later is going to be maybe worth more than the money that he gave him now. But if it was yotza hashar, which means there's already a fixed price for the payers, so then, I'm giving you money now. The, the buyer is giving money to the seller. So he's saying, listen, I'm, give, I'm buying from you four saw for a seller. So I'm giving you 25 saw. So basically, I'm buying from a uh, 25 seller. So I'm buying from you 100 saw. You could go ahead right now and buy those 100 saw if you want. And then give it to me whenever I need it. But Lapel, you didn't. So Mimela, so it's Kielu, you did. And Kielu, I bought from you 100 saw. And therefore, when you give me the 100 saw, which is worth more, it's my item that went up in value, just like if I would actually buy an item for you, and I would leave it in your possession. So obviously, if it went up in value, it's not a problem. It's not, not Rebus, because I bought the item then, and now I'm getting back my item. So over here also, even though I didn't really own it, because Lapel, there was no, you didn't have those saw, and I didn't make a Kenyan in it, but Lapel, as it didn't Ki'ilu, you already owned it, and therefore, there's no problem to give money because it's Keilu, the seller bought the payers, or he could buy the payers, and and, uh, and, and, and Lepel, so it's your payers that went up in value. Now, just like there's such a din that you could buy payers, so here we're saying that payers, the payers also, there's a there's a heter of saw besaw if there was already Yotza Hashar. So in other words, I'm giving you right now a saw of, of I'm lending you a saw of tool, and it was Yotza Ashar, so we know the value of the saw. We know exactly the value of the saw. Now you could go and, and buy this saw for this value. You could go ahead and buy saw for this value. And Lapel, so later on, when you're going to give me back the saw of Tvor, so even though that saw then is going to be worth more than the saw I gave you, but since at the time when I gave it to you it was already Yotza Ashar, and you could have, let's say, sold the saw and gone ahead and bought other payers with it, or whatever. So Mimela, so therefore it's considered, just like if I gave you money, so there's no problem if it was Yotz Ashar. al if I gave you payers, there's no problem if it was Yotz Ashar. But here there's a condition, like the Ram writes, that both, first of all, both of them have to know about Yotz Ashar. They have to know the price of the payers, so they should be able to translate these payers into money. And also that we didn't make up a fixed time when you're going to return the payers. Masha'enken, if there's a fixed time when you're going to return the payers, so then the Yotz Ashar doesn't work. Because lapel, since it's a fixed time, so it's like you can't say right now it's killer, I return to you the payers. Because we made up a certain time when you're going to return the payers. So that musig, that it's killer, right now I already return to you the payers, doesn't work. Because lapel, I made up a fixed time when you're going to return the payers. That's the, basically the, the say of this din. Perik Asiri. Kshem Shemuta Lemoicher. Liv Seik Al Shar Shebeshuk. A moicher can make up to give you payers based on the Shar Shebeshuk. Which means you give him money, and he's going to give you the amount of payers according to how much the payers could be bought now for this amount of money. It's kach muter lilvis a payers stam. You could go ahead and borrow payers, who pay him stam, and you pay back stam, which means you pay back according to how much it's the the, the payers that you took. Bleik viazman al shar shibeshuk based on the shar shibeshuk. And as if the shar shibeshuk was already yotza, so then you could go ahead and be levit over here. It's too much so 
You're paying back the same amount that you took, even though the amount that you're giving back is worth more than the amount that you took. It has to be that they both know the price. And so the din is high of the He returns to him as when he returns in the Eser Soim, the Chitim are worth more. So the Chur, it's a problem of Rebus. He lent him Eser Chit Saw, which was worth less, and now he's returning him Eser Saw, which is worth more. So we say, no, Sharik Shalovim Mimenu Hayashar Yadua. At that point in time, when he took the Eser Saw originally, the Shar was Yadua. The Ilu Ratsa, and if the borrower would have wanted Hoyakaina, he could have gone ahead and bought the, the, the Tvua that he has to return, Umarzale. There was no fit, fixed time for when to return it. And therefore, we look at it as if he already bought it and returned it, and the mail it is no problem. Now, that's the din, a regular din. So, no, it's not a If it was Yatsa Ashar and, and there's late cover Lizman, so then he could borrow a saw a saw, because since they both know the Shar, so it's Kilo, he lent him the money. So, just like when you buy, when you give money, you can give money with the cheshman that the that the seller will give you al the, the 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 amount of tvur kishar shevishuk that was yotz ashar. So I'll tell when I give you paytas and it was already yotz ashar, he could also give me back the amount of paytas as I gave him. Now shalova. We had had before the same thing when you give when you give money and the and the seller has that min, the seller has that min. So mainly even if it wasn't yotz ashar, because lepil since he has that min, even though you didn't actually make a maisakinian. And it's really like he owes you that 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 item, and Lachur, and since he gives it back to you later, he's going to give you back to you later, and, and it's going to be worth more than the money that you gave him. Now you gave him a shchedish nissen, a seller, and and he has he ha- for, for for a soft tvo, and lepel he has a soft tvo, lepel he gives you the soft tvo in the ear, and in the ear it's already worth two sloim. so lepel Lachur, he you never really owned it, but it's kilu you owned it because since he had it, it's kilu you owned it. Hoyole meisi amin shalov arizem muta lul vistam. Again, belay kviyasman. If there's no kviyasman of when you have to pay back the payers, upireyastam, and then you pay back with the, the same amount. So this is the same thing again, just like by money. When you give money, and if it was yotzasha, you can give the money, even though the, the seller has no none of these payers, because with that money, and it was yotzasha, he's able to buy the payers. So it's kili, he bought it already. So when you give payers, and it was yotzasha. So again, he could give back the payers. There's no problem of giving back the SSO for the SSO. Now, what happens if it was Leyot Sashar? So then, if the, the seller had these payers, I'm sorry, the buyer, the, the seller, the seller, the seller had these payers. He had payers. So, you, so you're giving someone, it's really the borrower. You're giving someone payers, and he's borrowing the payers, and really he has also of that min as well. He's borrowing more, but he has of that min as well. So then he could return to you the same amount of payers that you gave him, even though when you gave it to him it was worth less. And when he's returning to you, it's worth more. That's the din din alderech, just like when you buy something from someone. So if the seller had the payers, so mainly you could buy it from him. On that certain, on that set price that you made up, even though later on when he's going to give it to you, it's worth more because it's kilu. You owned it already. So over here also, I gave you payers, and those payers were worth less. Later on, you're going to return to me the same amount of payers, which is worth more. But since the person that's returning those payers had some of that payers originally, he had some of those payers originally. So then there's no problem. Let's again. The borrower had from that min. Is a reza muta lil vistam? Then he's a lot of barrel. But lake viasman without setting up a time. Again, he can't set up a time when he's going to pay back, because when he sets up a time when he's going to pay back, then it's mamish kilu. That's it's, the whole idea that 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 it's not considered ribis is because kilu he already owns it now. But if the deal is that he's going to pay him back a lot later or later, so then you can't say he owns it now. How does he own it now? He can't. He, the time is now. Now is not the time to return it. If he could give it to him right now, or there's a chance of him giving it to him right now, so we could say, it's Kilo, I returned it already to you. I turned it already, I returned it then when it was that value. But Lepel, if we made up a time, so then this doesn't work. It's Nachamal. Over here, if he had Paris, we don't need Yotzashar. Here, there's another Chidush. Even though we only had a saw, 
words, he's borrowing, he's borrowing kamasoin. Is leva a le kamasoin? Or hoisali tipa acha shal shemen, a yayin, he has one drop of oil or wine, and leva a le kamigar be yayin vishemen. He could borrow barrels of wine and oil. Because, again, we're, we're considering it kilu, each piece of what you're borrowing is connected that part that you had. It's all dinim drabonim. So since it knows buy money, Bamis, we learned before that when a person, let's say, buys from someone payers, and the, 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 the seller has the payers, so then you can make up a certain price, and you're going to give later, you're going to give it later, even though later that those payers are, are going to be worth more. And even if it wasn't Yotzashar, but even if it wasn't Yotzashar, because since the seller had the payers, so therefore, he could sell. He's selling these pears at this price, and even though it wasn't Yotza Hashar. But by Medvar Mamurim, only the amount of pears that the seller had. The marshal, if he wants to buy from him 100 saw, and the seller only has 50 saw, so he can't make this deal, Benigay, the 100 saw. He could only make it Benigay 50 saw. That's what we mentioned earlier. The Ram doesn't say it before this, but that's what the Ragged Mishnah touches up in the Rambam, that he could only give 50 saw. Masha Enkin, if he had pears, when it's saw, besaw, and he had pears, to say the borrower had payers, so even though he only had a little of the payers, which is like an extra cool over here, he only had a little of the payers, it's also the same. That's what he's saying. Afilo hoisle is bilmad is leva le kamasoy. And and Aldera is a tibach shishem and shoyain is leva le kamigar biyain bishem. However, le hoyo le meis yamin klum. If the borrower didn't have anything of that min, and the le nig bashar ashuk adain, and there wasn't yet a kvi ashar ashuk. Or even if there was a Kviya Sharashuk, actually Yodu Sharashuk, they didn't know the Sharashuk, so mainly they can't really translate this Paris into money, is Hareza Osir Lilvi So here that's where the Ram says this din. First the Ram writes when it's mutter. But here the Ram says Hareza Osir Lilvi Sobiso, you're not allowed to borrow a Sobiso, the Chaim Bishar Paris, Le Yilvesim. You shouldn't borrow other Paris, no Saitvu and other Paris, Ah Chiyasa Isimdom, unless you make up a price. As you say, that I'm, I'm lending you these amount of payers, and this is the price for the payers, and you owe me that money. You owe me that amount of money. So, Mela, regardless of what's going to happen later, if the payers go up, go down, with pay, you owe me the amount of money. That's, that's the way you should do it. And as when you borrow payers, you shouldn't borrow payers with the intention of returning the payers, because then it'll be a problem of saw, but saw, it could be a shail of ribis. Unless, as we said, it was covered, it was Nikba Hashar, and they both know about the Nikba Hashar. And also there was Lake Kovalizman, or otherwise there could be a problem. Masha'in Kain, if, if, if there was not Nik Bashar, or if they don't know about the Nik Bashar, and he doesn't have payers, so Bechiai Gavna, you shouldn't borrow so beso. The Im Love and the Lepel, you did borrow the payers, and you didn't make up a price for the payers. If you made up a price for the payers, it's very clear. You borrowed the payers, we said how much is the payers worth, and you have to repay back either the value of the of the payers, the money, or the payers according to that value. However, the love of lay also dom, you borrowed a saw of payers, and you didn't make up the the price for the saw of payers. It was clearly I'm borrowing the payers and you have to return payers. And the pale behuzlu, the payers went down in value. Is Mazali payers can be the shalove, a kemishko. He returns the payers either according to the the size or the weight, so that's not that's not a problem. In other words, if we would have made up a, a price, so if we would be huzli, we'd have to give more. Mashenka, since they didn't make up a price, so they made up a saw, so he gives back a saw. He borrowed a saw, he gives back a saw, even though right now the saw is worth less. There's no problem of ribas, and and he also fulfilled his obligation towards the malva because the deal was to have a saw, a saw. However, vehim hukar, if the price of the payers went up and they didn't make up a price. So it was hukar, so he borrowed a saw, and now the saw is worth more. Is natal domim show you shovim b'shasalva? He doesn't give back a saw. He gives back the value of what the saw was worth when he took it. Avol pishi yeshli meisi amin oishahoya hashar kavua b'shuk. Even though he has meisi amin or the shah was kavua b'shuk, hareza oser lilvis peiros be peiros as man kavua. There was, even though we said before that if yeshli meisi amin or shar kavu abishuk, so there's a heter of saw b'saw. So the Rambam is saying again here, clear that it's also lil veis peiros be peiros as man kavu. When you make up a, sp- a specific time when you're going to return it, that's also el olei v'stam upirei be'ezes man sheyirza sheyifra. So in others again, so just the sikum. The sikum is that you're not allowed to borrow a saw b'saw. Normally, you're not allowed to borrow a saw b'saw. 
and therefore you should make up a price. If you borrowed a saw, so if the saw is worth less, you turn the saw. If the saw is worth more, you return the value of what the saw was bishas borrowing. Now there's a time when you're allowed to borrow saw, so, and that's in the case of yotza shar. If yotza shar, and both of them know about the shar, but only on the condition that there wasn't a clear upmach of when to pay back. When it's lake of Elizman. Al you could borrow so beso, you could borrow so beso if you have some of that min, even though you don't have all of that min, you have some of that min, you have a little bit of tua, and you're borrowing a hundredth kur of tua. So the pales, you could borrow it so beso, even though you don't have that min, but again, only on the condition that you didn't make up a time when you're gonna pay back. Mashaikan, if you have a, make a time when you're gonna pay back, so all these the, the eights are of 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 Yotz Ashar, or the fact that you had chit, you had, you had, Me'isimin doesn't help, and that goes into the yad of so so which is also, which again, is the din is you have to return, if, if it's Huzl, you return according to the amount that you took, and if it was Hukru, then you pay the value of what you took. Halachi Gimel. L'yemer odem l'chaveri halveni kur chitim, you lend me a kur of chitim, v'ani avzal l'cha kur l'goyren, when the goyren happens, in other words, when, when all the tfua gets gathered and we have the pile of tfua, that's when I'll return to you that court. That's considered kavali zman. You could tell him, I, I, I need my son, I have to get a key. I'll find the key. In other words, it's not something which, the, the, the goyrin is a certain time. As everyone knows, the time when they finish the threshing and when they, they bring, put things into the silo. So that's a clear time. So that's considered kavali zman, which we said before is aser. Masha'inkin over here we're talking about, it wasn't Kaval Isman, it was just saying, that's not considered Kaval Isman, and at the time when it's Mutter, for example, if it was Yotz Ashar, or Yeshle Meisi Amin, so that would be permissible, that wouldn't be considered Kaval Isman. Halach Adal, love a Peres Adzman Kavua, if we pay, he did borrow Peres, and he made up a clear Adzman Kavua, is Im Huzlu, if the price went down, is again, Mazuli Peres Bizman Shekavu, like we learned before, because the pale, he borrowed these pairs. He shouldn't have done this. He shouldn't be borrowing so beso, bechlal, and 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 even in, in, even that that sounds to be mutter because it was it, it was the yotz ashar. But it the pale, if it was kavas man, so then he certainly shouldn't. But nevertheless, he did. So this is as if the price went down. So machli a pairs bezman shekava. He pays him back the pairs with bezman shekava. However, if hukru, if the price went up. Is nascently done. Show you shove b'shas halva. Then he only gives the money that it was worth b'shas halva because if he's going to give back payers, so that's to be considered ribas midrabon. So you're not allowed to. Halacha hey. Malva adam is a risk of chitim bechitim lezera. Ben shekedim shiyared the oris lesada bein acher shiyared. Because you have an oris, a shear cropper that's working for you, and lepeil he wants to borrow from you a core amount, a certain amount of chitim, and he's going to. Plant it. He's going to plant these chitim. He's going to plant these chitim, and then when when the things grow, so from his chelik that he would normally take a certain a certain percentage, he's going to pay you back from those chitim. So the question is, Azay, there, there's a deal that the the, the the owner of the field has with the sharecropper. That's deal number one, and then there's the deal that he's lending him a, a certain amount of chitim, and he has to pay him back the chitim. So if we're going to look at the two separate deals, so that's this, uh, that's the problem of a sub a sub. Masha'enkin, if we're going to combine the two deals, we'll say, he's not, there's not two deals over here, there's one deal. He's my, he's my sharecropper, and I'm making a deal with him. The deal with him is, instead of the normal deal of a sharecropper, that he, that he pays me a certain percentage, I'm going to be giving him the tour before, and he's going to be paying me back the percentage minus the tour that I gave him. So it's not a psadin kilo, there's a separate deal over here. The deal of the sharecropper is the deal which also encompasses or includes this deal with 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 the with the halva. So bechiyai gavna, we don't look at the halva separately. We look at it as part of the deal between the owner of the field and the sharecropper. But medvar mamurim, if the sharecropper didn't yet become a sharecropper, in other words, the deal is not yet finished between the owner and the sharecropper. So then we could say that whatever deal he's giving him tvo and he's going to give him back tvo is part of the deal that they have between the owner and the sharecropper. But Masha'ikin, if that deal was already finished, in other words, this sharecropper is a sharecropper, he's already in the field, and he's the sharecropper, v'chulu v'chulu. Now there's another thing, this sharecropper is borrowing something from the owner, and he has to return it, so then that will be a din of so so that's this din. Halachai, malva odem is a of chitim b'chitim. A person could lend to a sharecroppers, chitim b'chitim lezera, for them to go and plant the field, 
whether the Urus came down into the field already, even if the Urus is already in the field, but still the, shir, the owner of the field could lend the shear cropper chitim, and he's going to return him this chitim. So, so. When is this din? That even Acher Shayorat, the, the owner, could still lend the shear cropper so, so. That's Bemokim Shinago Shit Norris Hazara. Normally, in a place where the Oris is expected to bring the seeds. So, since the Oris doesn't have the seeds, Shahre Biyad Balakarka Lusalka, calls Mashalin Osan. As long as the Oris doesn't have the seeds, so the Balakarka could be Masalakim. So, therefore, the deal wasn't yet finished between the Balakarka and the Oris. So, so, therefore, we can incorporate this lending as part of the deal of the, between the Oris and, and the and, and the balakarka, avod malkum shudar balakarka litn zazera, but in the place where it's normal for the balakarka to give the zera is ima dying liyor the oris. If the oris didn't yet go down into the field, and he wants to borrow chitim bechitim, is there is a mutal lahavus chitim bechitim? Why shadai yesh le lasalke? Because the violence since he didn't yet go into the field, so the owner of the field could be masalik the oris. Nimtza so comes out beeshi yored lasada when he comes down into the field, and they make the deal between them. Shear cropper and the owner of the field, Yorad al Dashi Yasli Chitm Shulvo. And since that's the Dashi Yasli Chitm Shulvo, so that Das is part of the deal of the shear cropper and the owner. It's not, it's not Rebus. He gave him money, and the deal was that he's going to give him back this, this he gave him uh, Chitm rather, and the deal was also the deal of, of the shear cropper and the owner. That's the deal, that he should turn this amount of, of, of Chitm. But after the shear cropper went into the field, so he's already a sharecropper. So you can't say this becomes part of the deal between the sharecropper and the owner. That deal was already sealed. So then it's harehu kecholodom. So then the sharecropper has the name of a regular person. And v'osr lahalvesi chitim bechitim lezera. You're now going to lend him chitim bechitim lezera. Avol malveu stam al shar shebeshuk. You could lend him according to the shar shebeshuk, like we said before. According to the shar shebeshuk, you could lend him. Mashein kein. To lend them chitim bechitim, there's not the special deal that there is between the oris and the owner that you can't do. Halacha vav misha yeneisha bechaveri moritz. Someone owed someone money. Someone owed someone money. But Amr lay and the lender tells the borrower, "Tell me, Moise, give me my money. Shani reitz alika bem chitim, because I want to take chitim with it. I want to buy chitim with it." Is Amr lay so the borrower tells the lender, "Say va say oisin alai kishan shalachsho." In other words, go find out what's the shah shalach In other words, translate the money that I owe you into chitim. Instead of me owing you money, I'll owe you chitim. You want to go buy chitim? Fine. So you'll buy chitim. You'll buy chitim kilo from me. In other words, the money that I owe you will be used to buy the chitim by me. And the mail, now I'm, instead of owing you 25 so, 25 so, I'll owe you 100 so of chitim. Is im yeshle chitim, if the borrower has chitim, kashir ma'iso, so it's mutter. So that's beset, that's not a problem. But if the borrower doesn't have those chitim, is hareza os, it's also why. Now, Lechura, we said before, that if you give someone 25 so, and there's already yotza ashar, so memela and lepel, you're going to get the, the chitim later, it's not a problem. Why is it not a problem? Because lepel, the money you gave that person, he could go ahead and buy chitim. He could have gone right now with his 25 so, it was yotza ashar to buy 100 so. So it's kilo, he bought it. And since it's kilo, he bought it. So therefore, it's, it's, it has a din, a kilo, like later on when I take it, it's kilo, I'm taking something that was mine originally. But Medvar Mamura, when I actually gave him the 100 so, when I gave him actually the 25 so, rather. Masha'inkin over here, there's a borrower and a lender. Now, the lender wants his 25 so. 25 so, I'm sorry. The lender wants his 25 so. The borrower doesn't, want to, doesn't have the 25 so, or he doesn't want to give him the 25 so. So he tells him, listen, instead of me giving you 25 so, uh, I'll give you the chitim that 25 seller is worth. So if he has the, the chitim that the 25 seller is worth, that's fine. So now he's translating those 25 seller into chitim, and now he owes him chitim. But if he doesn't have those chitim, so what should he's giving him the chitim? It's a bit when the, when the person gave him money, even though he doesn't have chitim, so you say, with that money, you could go ahead and buy chitim. So the mail is, Kilo, you have the chitim. Masha'ikah, I'm not giving any money. The lender is not actually giving money to the borrower. The borrower owes the lender money, and the lender is telling the borrower, take that money that you owe me and translate it into chitim, that you'll owe me chitim. So, but I didn't give you any money to buy with. So if you actually have chitim, so those 25 seller could be translated into chitim. 
Mashengen, if you don't have any chitim, so how could those 25 cellar be translated into chitim? That's this din. Zim yesh lechitim kashir meis of mutter. However, vim ainli eisi amin, if the borrower doesn't have this chitim, is ariza also, why? Shali omru chachomim shemutal lifsik al shar shavishuk, apu pish ainli klum eisi amin, did din, we said before, that you give someone money, and you make up with them on the shar shavishuk, how much chitim he owes you for this money, is only a lebenesin moes of lichnis ben peiris. He gives money to buy peiris, and memela, so then we could say that he can make up on the shar shavishuk, even though the, the seller doesn't have anything, but Lepel, with the money, he could go ahead and buy. But for a person not giving someone any money, and he wants to just exchange the money that he owes him for Paris, that could only work if the borrower has the Paris. If the borrower has the Paris, that, that, that he's, tra- he's, he's exchanging the money for those Paris, and he has those Paris, so then it's permissible. But if he doesn't have the Paris, then it's not permissible. Now, Hoya Leleva Chitim, the Leva had Chitim, and Lepel Vasa al Vasi al of Chitim. So he changed it. He says, I owe you 25 cell, and now I owe you 100 so of Chitim. Now, Bo Achersman, now this lender comes, he says, Vamali Tanli Chitim, give me my Chitim, Shani Reitzel Lemachrim, I want to sell the Chitim, Velika Bidmei Miyai, and I want to go ahead and buy wine. Is Amr Le, so again, the borrower tells the lender, Say Vase is no Layai, Kishashi Vishukata, translate the 100 so of Chitim that I owe you into wine, and, and, I'll, and I'll owe you that amount of wine. So again, the same thing. Im yesh yayin, if the borrower has wine, there is a mutter. And me mele v'nas al vasi yesh yayin. So the, the wine, now the, the, the chitim would translate into wine, because he has wine. However, if me mele yayin is awesome, but if he doesn't have wine, it's awesome. Hare shalei hoyole, he didn't have any wine. And va'avar the hel, or he didn't have the, the chitim originally. Va'avar the hel zir halva peris, and he made the halva, the original alva of money into Paris is Avu Bishakana Paris Acharka. Even though Lepel he paid, he bought later on Paris, Eini Chayiv Litnali Paris. He's not Mechuyiv to give him Paris because Lepel that deal wasn't a deal. There was no such a deal. Because Lepel he never gave him the money and he wasn't really allowed to make this deal. So in Mele there's no such a deal. El Nosnali Moy Shalvo he pays him back the original money that he paid. So in other words, he owed him twenty five so twenty five sela. Lepel he told him that I want to change it into Chitim. And he said, all right, I'll change it into Chitim, but Lepel, he didn't have Chitim. So at that point in time, Hitaka didn't buy Chitim. For Lepel, there was no real Chitim bought. So Mela, the original deal that he owes him, 25 sellers, still chal.